Okay, guys, are you ready? Yeah. Fourth of July and Memorial Day are just around the corner. Yes. And we've got this. We've got to prepare big. We've got to prepare hard. It's going to come fast and furious. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah. hands in. Hands in. One, two, three, go! Yeah. 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 Guys, guys, I got it from here. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. I, I got it from here. Hey guys, welcome back to the pink envelope. We are unboxing Deco Created's new Americana box. But I wanted to put this disclaimer first. I have my background as the Deco Created Summer box. So if you do not want the Deco Created Summer 2021 box spoiled, X out now because it's going to be all throughout my house through this video. Otherwise, Let's dive in and see what's inside the brand new New Americana box. Okay, if you're new around here, this is called a Deco Crated Add-on Box. So they have the four seasonal boxes, quarterly boxes, that you subscribe and have a membership to. Once you are a member and subscribed, you then get access to these add-on boxes. So there's an Easter one, the new Americana one, we did a Halloween one, we did a Christmas one. But the only way to get access to this is to join. So right now, that would be getting the summer box that just released. So if you want to sign up for the summer box, use my coupon code, THEPINKENVELOPE15 to get $15 off of one box or the pink envelope 20 to get $20 off an annual subscription. Once that subscription is in place, you will have the ability to access the add-on boxes. These do sell out quickly, so I can't guarantee how long this box is gonna be in stock. So if you're at all interested in what we're about to unbox, sign up for your seasonal summer box so that you can go ahead and grab this as soon as possible. Okay, let's go unbox. All right, you guys, I cannot wait to share what's in here. If you haven't already noticed by the intro of this video, we are a Memorial Day, 4th of July family. On both of those holidays, our whole yard is covered in red, white, and blue. So I am definitely approaching the new Americana box from a Samantha perspective, which is very all American red, white, and blue, which is the beauty of this box. Even though this is styled to be a little bit more new Americana, um, I'm gonna tweak it to fit my style, but I wanted to let you guys know if you're not a big red, white, and blue fan, you do not have to go this direction with the box. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So on top we have the Deco Magazine with the printables. The printable says, the land of the free and the home of the brave. And then on the other side, it says, happy 4th of July. Isn't that so cute? This guy is four by six in size, so if you wanna get a frame, there's that. On top is an offer for One Thrive. That is the board system that keeps my entire pink envelope office in order and with a calendar and a plan. My promo code is down below as well as a picture of my board. And then in here is the magazine. This magazine talks about what's in the box, how to style things with the box, um, other items in the deco store. I don't wanna flip through this too much because I really like to see the items on my own and then go decorate with my own inspiration. So, as you can see, I have not opened this box. I have not touched anything in here. On top, I see our pillowcases. It is a square. I have linked below the size for this pillowcase as well as the insert that I recommend. All of the pillowcases that we receive from them are double-sided. So the other side says America the Beautiful, established 1776. This is the pillowcase that came in the summer box. So can I just say how awesome the summer other side, so there's the lemons, looks with this pillowcase either way. Super, super excited. They're also uh, alternate sizing. 
so you can stack them. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, let's set this guy down here, and what do we have next? So if you watch the Deco Lives on the Deco Creators Facebook group, some of these items have already been spoiled for you. Here is the sign, and the back of it is just plain, so if you wanted to hack it, this would be a great, easy hack, because you have a blank side to work with. But it says, Home of the Brave, and let's see what size it is. It is 12 inches across, and it is six inches tall, and a quarter of an inch thick. So there's this guy. I like the signs because you can hang them or you can prop them. I actually find that I prop them more than anything. And next is another item that might be familiar to y'all because I believe this was also spoiled on the Decorator, Decorators Facebook Live is the little house. I mean, I guess it's a little house. I'm sure it has a really cool new Americana name and I just don't know what it is. This is another one that you creative hackers are probably gonna be able to do some stuff with the back of it because it still has, let's see if I can lift this off. The chimney in a great shape and a completely blank back to work with. Of course, you could hack the top of this with all sorts of things. I'm not a big hacker, I like my items as is. But some of y'all are brilliant. From the peak of the house to the base is six inches tall and it is five inches across and it is uh, just shy of three and a half inches thick, which means it would fit easily on our white shelf we got in the summer box. All right, oh, I got it upside down. The blue tin, I'm guessing it's tin vase. So this guy instantly, I'm like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna stick in it? Am I gonna stick a bunch of florals? Beads draping out the side. It does have feet on the bottom, so it won't scuff. And it's actually a really, really good size. It is a foot tall, it's 12 inches tall. The opening of the mouth is three inches and the base is six inches. And it's a, I mean, it's a pretty hardy piece. So what I do with these pieces, I don't try to decorate my whole home. Y'all know if you've been around here at all that I love my mantle, decorating my mantle, which is the centerpiece of my home, is gonna get all of the love from this box. So let's go decorate. Okay, let's do some decorating. I'm going to go very red, white, and blue, just because that's my style. But I just wanna tell you guys, you don't have to go that route. If you look at the colors of the box, you could really do a navies and blues, different shades of blues with whites. You could do the same thing with reds, different shades of reds with accents of whites or blue. Or you could just do like really a green palette or add this stuff into the yellows for the decorated summer box. For me, we're going all out. So as always, I'm gonna throw my anchor piece up and start decorating from there. A little bit about this piece. We were walking through a home decor store here in San Antonio when my kids saw this and started cracking up, saying, look, it's Daddy, Emma, and Paige. And so when I went back up to buy some accent pieces to go with my deco box, I couldn't resist picking up Daddy, Emma, and Paige. So that is the anchor piece for my box design. Um, we have an open door policy during the summer neighbors come and go, kids come and go, and so we definitely do more kid-friendly, kid-centric fun decor through those three months. So I love the idea of that being higher to create balance. What I don't love is when we elevate it, the bottom of the leaves becomes the focal point, and since this is a faux plant, because I would kill a real one if we're being honest, it just doesn't have the look I want. So I'm gonna bring it back down.
here we go. I am loving it. I don't know about y'all. I'd actually like to hear your comments. I don't decorate my home very country as a whole. I would say we're mid-century modern farmhouse. So there is a touch of that farmhouse look, but like I don't do a lot of the distressed stuff except for like my 4th of July Memorial Day theme always has just a smidge. Like normally I would never accept those flowers, but like they feel like they're so appropriate for this particular design. And then this sign literally is just draped over there. There's no nails or nothing put in the back. It's just hanging there. So I was hoping this would work and I saw it in my head. I mean, think about like hanging on a wall. It's just such a cute, uh, it adds dimension and symmetry. I don't know. I'm love, love, loving it. Those are fake plants. Um, that's dried. Those are fake. I usually leave this decor. I, 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 if it makes it two to three weeks, it's going to be a miracle because I'm constantly swapping. So if you want to see like new looks, variations of looks, follow me on Instagram. I post them on there. I'm getting ready to post uh, my varying look of my summer decorated box because I did the initial decorating with y'all and y'all can see that video here. And then I think I made it two weeks and I made some tweaks and changes. It just, I don't know, it's so much fun. And it also depends on what part of my house I'm hanging out in a lot. So if we're doing a lot of things here in the family room then I have a tendency to keep a lot of my decor here. But if for whatever, for whatever reason we shift over to like dining room and we're into eating dinners in the dining room, then I want my stuff in there. And so I have a tendency to kind of let it bounce around the house. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching the Deco Created New Americana unboxing. If you have any questions, let me know. Measurements, size, links, and everything are below. It also can be found on my blog post. I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all. Go. Okay, start putting your flags in, Emma. Betty, stay behind her. <laughs>